He began his test career with the wicket of Steve Smith and ended his first full test series with the West Indies by playing a key role with both bat and ball as they registered a big win over Australia at the Gabba. But the cricketing journey of Shamar Joseph has been anything but a smooth ride. In this video, we will take a look at the arduous journey that Joseph has taken to the very top of the sport we all love. Joseph was born and raised in Barakara, a village of about 350 people in the East Berbis Corentin region of Guyana. The village of Barakara is about 225 kilometers up the Kanye River, and getting there usually takes two days by boat from the port city of New Amsterdam. When growing up, Joseph had little to none of the facilities that most city folk take for granted. The village only reportedly got internet connections in the year 2018 and the main source of entertainment for the village folk was a sole black and white television used by everyone who lived there. It was in these humble beginnings that Joseph, who idolized West Indian pace bowling legends Kirtley Ambrose and Kirtley Walsh, was raised. When he first took up the sport of cricket, he bowled with fruits such as lemons, limes, guavas and peaches before later using tape balls. In order to support his family, however, he first worked alongside his siblings and father in felling logs. After an incident in which he was nearly hit by a tree, he moved to New Amsterdam to find different work. He first worked as a construction worker and then as a security guard, often working arduous 12-hour long shifts across the day and leaving himself no room to work on his cricket. He would eventually quit working and with the support of his fiance began to pursue cricket full-time. He impressed at the start of his domestic career for Guyana but really caught the eye of many in the 2023 edition of the Caribbean Premier League where he played two games for the Guyana Amazon Warriors as they emerged champions. His raw speed and consistency made him stand out as a future prospect but his big call-up came much earlier than expected when he was named in the West Indies Test Squad for the two-test series against Australia. Two tests and 13 wickets later, the whole world knows the name Shamar Joseph. The West Indies will hope that he continues to prioritize test cricket in the near and distant future. We hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, you can let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like it, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel and tap that bell icon as well. Also go ahead and follow us on social media, we're on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook and don't forget to download the Sportstack app. Last but not least, if you're still on the channel, go ahead and check out some other videos we've done as well and stay tuned for more such stories from the world of sport. For now, from my side though, it is goodbye.